Hey there, Tarot Tribe. Welcome back to the Red Lotus Elixir Tarot. For all our old friends returning, it's wonderful to reconnect with you. And to our new subscribers, a warm, cheery welcome to our magical community. I'm Tamara, your guide on this journey through the cards, and I am so grateful to share these moments and insights with you. So let's dive into the cosmic energies and uncover the messages the universe has in store for you. So what are we doing today? Today's reading is for the entire collective, but no worries, I am going to be thorough. I am doing almost every aspect of your life. I'm going to look at the general overview, the energy, your love relationships, your career finances, personal growth and well-being, and I'm going to get special guidance from the universe just for you, okay? So I'm going to try to make this as personal as possible. I don't want it to be so generic that people are like, ah. Uh, you know, so I try to focus my intention so that I can really get those important messages across, especially for people who really need them and to make sure that everybody gets the message. OK, so that's what I'm going to try to do today. So let me shuffle these cards and see if I can get a general message for you in terms of your, you know, your theme, your, your what events are coming up for you. Um, let's see what's currently happening for you. OK, what themes, events or vibes? Let's see, are happening for my collective right now. And this can serve as a uh, kind of like a check as well, okay? An energy check. Um, what themes, what events or vibes are coming back this way? What's happening now? Give me a little bit of information. Give me a snapshot. What's happening for them right now? What themes, what events or vibes? All right, so I got... The winged wise ones, and it says angelic help. Okay. Um, miraculous aid. Hmm. I'm going to pull some more info because I feel like that is oh, my dog. I swear, there's somebody at the door and he just never fails to do with his barking when I'm recording. He's fine otherwise. I'm going to wait for him. So let's see what the winged wise ones are. I almost feel like this is prayer. Like some of you are praying um, for your ancestors, your spirit God. All right, I think he's finished. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry about that. Um, if you guys are hearing that in the background, it's my dog. Um, so some of you are praying for your as I was saying, your ancestors are your spirit guides to bring in help for you, to support you, um, to bring aid and assistance to you. This feels like also ancestors or spirit guides paying particular attention to you at the moment to help you do something, okay? Because she's perched on a pedestal and she has wings, okay? So we've got the three of coins, okay? We've got the ten of wands there. Right, and I want to make sure that that's in the frame. Okay. So what's currently taking place for you collective? Ten of Wands is an indication of moving on. Um, it is an indication of feeling like you're under, feeling like you're burdened, you're struggling. Um, sometimes in a, you know, if it's a money read, it could indicate abundance or having an abundance of something, but it just feels right now like a, a lot of stress, a lot of struggle, um, or trying to build or build up something. So some of you are getting help and assistance from your spirit team with work, okay? Building a name for yourself at work um, or making, it's like reaching a, a certain level in terms of your career, okay? So the focus right now I see like it's career. Um, I'm also seeing housing as a thing here, okay? So it feels like um, not only employment opportunities, like your spirit team helping you to find employment opportunities to make a name for yourself, um, but I also feel like this is about wanting to find a better place to live. So some of you could be going out and making offers for housing, whether it's purchasing a home or looking for a place to rent. Some of you want um, a place that makes you, of course, everybody wants a place that makes you feel comfortable. But some of you could be trying to go back to like a hometown, you know, and or uh, or trying to find the vibe of your hometown or something that makes you feel really good in terms of where you live. Some of you could be trying to move closer to other people, like family, to get fam familial support from them. So I do see those things happening for you generally, okay? Um, let's see what else I'm getting. 
Right, what else? What else is happening right now? Themes, events, vibes for my collective. Okay. And so we've got the Page of Cups. All right. And so what does the Page of Cups say is going on? There's Page of Cups is about a proposal, right? It's um when I see that, I usually think about getting something, someone giving you something, okay? And it almost feels like um it's the universe coming in and giving you a helping hand because I'm still connecting it to that winged wise one there, okay? Um, I feel like the universe is helping you or your spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever you pray to, whatever deity you pray to or deities are coming in and giving you a helping assistance in a lot of different areas of your life because you guys are praying for different things, okay? Um, I also see moving towards like a dream, um, something that you want to come true, and the Page of Cups being an assistance that's coming in for you, okay? Um, I do see like, uh, yeah, I keep talking about moving or moving up. So those are the, the big energies I'm seeing, like relocating or moving up in your work, or your job. This could even be moving up in terms of where you live. You could be moving from someplace smaller to someplace larger or moving from an area that is not so great to one that's better. But there's, there's, a, there's this giant energy of being on top or moving up or being placed on a pedestal, right? As you can see with the wing wise ones right there, okay? So the energy is a glow up, a move up, shift up, climbing the ladder um, in a certain area of your life, okay? So that's a general overall energy that I am seeing. So let me move on to your love and relationships and see what's coming out there, okay? And I'm gonna leave that winged wise one there because that is the overall theme I'm feeling for, um, for you, okay? And your life. So let's look at love and relationships. Let me pull up this deck here. All right. Spirit, connect me to my collective viewers. Tell me what is going on in love and relationships with my viewers. What is going on in their love life right now? Tell me what's going on. Let me do a complete look at your love life. Let's see. All right, there we go. So we got passion, okay? I'm gonna put that right there. All right, put her in the background. Um, so passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So what does this mean for your love life? Hmm. Well, I feel like that, well, that is always about sexual energy for me, okay? See how those two are like, on top of each other um but one of them's an angel that's interesting hmm. okay so what i'm feeling is that there is someone in the past and this could be like past energy that you were extremely attracted to and you may have all these fantasies in your head about this person or have these fantasies in your head about this person um, about who you thought they were, who they should be, um, may have been a little bit blinded by who this person is, or you felt like they had angelic qualities, okay? I feel like this was, the sex was almost like very addictive, okay? Um, I'm going to have to get more information because I don't, I, I'm feeling like this could go either way. It could be a relationship that was very good for you, or it could be something else else okay so let me go ahead and grab some more cards okay let's see what that is so i want to be pretty clear about what i'm looking at what's this yeah okay so this since the ten of cups is here perhaps this was a happy passionate kind of relationship um however up and down a little bit okay um, felt good most of the times, other times it was maybe a struggle, feeling overworked in it, feeling like, um, you know, there were a lot of obstacles, um, but feeling addicted to this person somehow, that's, that's what I'm seeing, okay? So let's see your current energy. I feel like this person was an air sign, okay? It could be air, getting a uh, potentially water sign, All right? Tell me more. Love and relationships, tell me about and we got flirt. Okay, so currently, 
flirtatious kind of energy. I'm getting a lot of sexual vibes here. Like just kind of enjoying yourself, having a lot of mm -hmm, that kind of connection. Okay. That's what I'm feeling there. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Floating perhaps right now. And <clears throat> dating. Um, you're dating a well, I don't see anything serious right now. Okay. So right now, because of challenges in your relationship in the past, I feel like you're just kind of dating different people. Although I feel like the different people that you're dating keep turning out to be the same kind of people. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're finding the same sort of person, um, even though you're trying to make changes. It just feels like it's the same thing over and over again that you're finding. And it feels like you want to kind of give up on love in a way. Okay. Um, so let me clarify that third card. So if you're dealing with someone right now, you're not even really sure about them, okay? I, I'm hearing keeping your options open. So feeling like if this, you know, is this the right person? Should I, you're not really sure. There's a little bit of fear behind that I'm feeling, okay? Let me pull another card. I almost feel like, is this person gonna be the same as the last or something like that, right? Running into the same kind of people. Ooh. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cars that just flew out. Now, give me one second. Let me pick them up. Okay, let's see. All right, so we've got, interesting, for some of you, unrequited love. All right, so that's the feeling I was getting about, like, feeling like you're, you keep meeting the same types of people over and over again. Um or that you, when you're attracted to them, they're not attracted to you. Or when you're, you know, they're attracted to you, um, you're not attracted to them. You know what I'm saying, right? Like, like that. Um, and so I feel like you're making the effort to leave that kind of thing behind that isn't working for you anymore. You are dating. I do see you, you know, you're going on a few blind dates and, eh, you know, they're, they're okay. Um, but you're looking for something spiritual, right? You're looking for a connection. And I think this is probably one of the things that you've been praying for, Um for spirit to bring you. And there were two more cards, okay? So I feel like you're praying for spirit to bring you a relationship where you can say, you know, this could be the one, okay? Um, but let me clarify that. Okay, yeah, definitely. So the seven of coins is like you're waiting on spirit to help you to bring in someone who you think could be the one. You're That's what you want to happen, okay? You want to have everything... Um, that you've been praying for, to come in for a partner. And then we have honeymoon. Okay, so let's clarify that honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss of holiday or vacation of time off. Yeah, so right now for most of you, um, the honeymoon card, the 10 of coins is telling me you may actually be spending money going on vacation or taking yourself on vacation or it just means that you're spending time with your family, okay? Not so much with any lover or any particular loved one or, I mean, in terms of romance or anything like that. So most of the time spent with your family. Um, and you are looking for a passionate relationship, but what you're finding right now isn't exactly what you want. You know, as I said, when people are into you, you're probably not into them and so on and so on and, you know, vice versa. So at this time, just chilling with your family, you know, working, doing things like that and praying that the winged wise ones or your ancestors or the universe brings you what you're looking for. So that's what I'm seeing for love for right now. Okay. So I'm going to move on to um, some guidance for you, perhaps to see what spirit wants to tell you about your love life. Cause I feel like I should give you some guidance for that. Okay. Let's see. All right, spirit, give me guidance for my collective's love life. What do you want to tell them about their love life? What do you need them to know about love and romance? What do you want to tell them? What is the message for them? All right. It says the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Ma'at. Okay. That reminds me of cycles for some reason. Okay. Um, so it's almost like everybody has, I'm feeling like everybody goes through this, right? There are times when you have 
good times in love, there are times when you have bad times in love, okay? Let's see. And with the Knight of Cups as a clarifier, I feel as if you will have your time, right? There will be a victory for you in terms of romance. And I do see, like, um, going out, you're going to continue to go out on dates. Um, but because Mahat is there, it feels like eventually what you want will come to you. It feels like the energy of, like, destiny or fate or karma or just balancing the scales here in love. And it's just talking about you're not the only one going through this thing where you can't find who you're looking for. It, it's... um. That that's just part like of destiny. That's what's supposed to happen, okay? And it happens to everyone. So what I'm feeling is you are an amazing person, okay? You're beautiful, you're fabulous, um, and the message is like what you want is going to definitely come to you. What you want or need is coming, okay? You're going to find everything you're looking for um, in the person that you're probably praying to come into your life. This person will be what you want. Maybe I'm feeling like a good role model, okay, where you won't have any problems with saying, oh, this is my so-and-so, right? You'll gladly say, this is the person I'm with. Um, they'll probably be as interested in you in things that um, you find um, interesting, such as even spirituality or metaphysical interests, okay? And when you meet this person, it says that this is going to be like a serendipitous kind of connection. Like, it's going to be unexpected. Like, you won't know, you won't be expecting it when it comes in, okay? But you will find the person that you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to move on for you. Let's check out finances and career. Oh, let's see what's going on there. I'm going to move all these cards out. Anyway. Yeah, let's see what is happening with your career and your finances. Please connect me to my collective and tell me what's coming up in... What's happening for them? Career. Look at that first. Career. Okay, what's happening in career for my collective? Okay, some of you, it feels like you are seeking work, looking for work. Okay. Some of you are searching for a work environment that is more to your liking, where you have more of a, how can I say, um, Okay, well, it's not a connection. It's it's where you feel more connected to the environment. It's more harmonious for you. Um, it's better. So I'm I'm feeling like you're seeking some place where you fit in better, and you feel people are more kind. Honestly, okay. So I'm seeing for work and career, um, and then for some of you, I feel as if you are at the top of your game. Okay, I feel that. Um, you are in a good cycle right now where you may be looking at getting a promotion um, or, you know, you're getting promoted. Yeah, so I feel that um, right now you're just looking for better is what it looks like in terms of your career, okay? Some of you are looking for work in like the, I feel like legal field or like, um, social work, social services, human services kind of feel. Some of you are moving in a new direction. Um, you want to find something that is more, that is more fitting for you, which is what the Knight of Cups is about, okay? Where perhaps you can be paid what you th you believe you're worth or what you know you're worth. Some of you are seeking work in the field of education also, okay? All right, but, but it's about finding where you fit in at the moment, where you feel you would thrive and prosper the best, okay? And I feel like you were doing that. That's like a past energy. That's what you were looking for. Okay. So the Eight of Cups is about moving forward. It could be also about moving on, right? So some of you are not satisfied with the work that you're currently doing, and you are, you could be bored, with the work that you're currently doing and you're moving on, you're looking to move on to something better where you, you'll start to feel hopeful again, feel connected again to your work. Um, some of you 
just want to feel balanced and where you are right now, you don't have inner peace or balance and you, you're looking for a workplace that can give you that or for a job that can give you that or just seeking purpose, work that gives you a sense of purpose and makes you feel good about what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Yeah, so I'm feeling like you could be currently going through like agencies, um, of course, working on your resume and just trying to figure out where you would prosper the most, okay? Um, what would feel the best to you? So you're currently, some of you are at a crossroads, I feel. And even if you're employed, you're still looking for something better, right? If you're unemployed, same thing. You're looking for work that fulfills you, makes you feel better. Okay. And I do feel contacting like an agency or something like that as well. All right. And then we've got the four of coins. So the Four of Coins is a card of security. It's a card of staying put. It's a card of conservation and saving. It's a card of holding on and not letting go, building um, walls, building security, okay? So what I'm feeling there for you is some of you um, will find work that you will definitely want to hold on to, want to keep. Some of you are in jobs that you don't want to let go of because it's so secure and it's providing you with that financial security, you can pay your bills every month or you have excess and surplus amount of money. So you're like, is it feasible for me to be moving and looking for something else when technically this job is really good? Okay. Even though I don't feel connected here, even though I feel maybe still like you're not getting your money's worth, would you really be getting your money's worth somewhere else? Or would they, would you find a job that would pay you as much as you're getting where you are now, even though you feel like you could make more. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you feel like you're underpaid, but you know that maybe everybody else is way more underpaid than you. So you maybe should stay where you are. That's kind of what I'm feeling there, kind of settle in, right? It's a feeling of complacency. Okay, so you have a very complicated choice to make in terms of career. Um, and that's kind of what I'm seeing. Like, it's difficult, okay? I see for the four of coins, if you are searching for work, most of you are going to probably stay where you are. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. Some of you are looking, yes, you're taking that first step, but are you going to make a move to find something more stable and secure? I do see interviewing. You will do that. But for the majority of you, I'm feeling like you're going to kind of decide to stay put where you are. Okay. You're going to keep looking, but you're, I feel like you're going to stay put. Um, and then also I'm getting the energy of some of you are getting promoted. You're moving up and you're making more money. Okay. You're moving into a space that you prefer, you like more, okay? I'm feeling like you're in charge as well of something bigger. Uh, it feels like you're in charge of more money or something financial, okay? And it's making me think about um, real estate as well. Your job may have something to do with real estate. Um, so that's what I'm seeing there, okay? So overall, the energy for your career is still moving up, right? Looking for something better, looking for a glow up, looking for a promotion, wanting to move into um, a better financial situation or just a better position. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. And you're kind of uncertain right now. So you're not, you're not really sure if you should kind of sit where you are or kind of move out. You, you are making some moves, but I feel like for the most part, you are stable where you are. Okay. You're probably going to decide to stay where you are. All right. So let me take a look at um, your finances and see what we'll, you'll see there. Right, tell me about Collectus finances. Hmm. So the moon shows some worry about finances, okay? Um, or that your your finances ebb and flow, ebb and flow. Um, and you know, that's pretty normal. Let's see. Most people have finances that ebb and flow, and plus we're in like a freaking recession, not a recession now. We have like Maybe I'm I'm talking it up. A recession is coming. No, um, inflation right now is outrageous. You know, so your money does not go as far as it used to. So people who were comfortably in the middle class are now pushed down a little bit. You know, and everybody else that was not middle class yet is kind of screwed. But anyway, yeah, I, there's the energy of money in, money out, money in, money out. Okay, um, and being a little bit worried about your finances, and that's probably where the winged wise ones come in. The prayer for miraculous aid or help you, you know, and this is a past energy that I'm sensing with the moon, instability, money being up and down. Okay. So let's take a look and see what else. Okay. Tell me more about finances, my collective. Okay. 
So for the Queen of Cups, I feel like that's a, a lot better. So your current energy is um, leveraging. Okay, so I'm feeling like feeling a little bit more balanced in terms of finances. Okay, give me a second. Let me clarify that. But it, it feels to me like you're finding new ways to make money or you found some new ways to make money. There's something you're looking at. So that will bring in more money for you. Okay. So it almost feels like with the Four of Swords, there's an the energy of being able to be a little bit more uh, uh, relaxed when it comes to money. Okay. The Four of Swords there. Is what I'm saying. So, um, oops, these cards are really jumping. Yeah. So I'm feeling like you're in a better cycle. Okay. Um, also, there is the energy of needing sleep as well, rest. Maybe your focus is too much on your money. And so it is saying to take a break from thinking about your money so much. You're focusing on your money so much. You're working so hard for your money which I know is easier said than done, right? There's always those messages. And I'm like, Spirit, are you not watching? Like, do you not see the world? Don't you see? People can't take a break. If they take a break, like, they lose everything. But um, I think it's just like a tiny break. Like, you know, rest a little bit. Um, you know, take a time out. I'm here and take a chill pill, you know, focus on money. Okay. All right. Yeah, because right now... You know, with this uh, card clarifying the nine of water and that nine, the winged wise ones, the spirit could also be saying that you can take a chill pill because your money is going to improve greatly. With the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfilled, okay, um, it looks like your money is going to greatly improve and it's green, you know, and that's a sign of good fortune. So money right now, currently, in its current energy, it's showing like you can take a break, you can rest because your money is pretty good, okay? Or it's going to be good. There's some kind of wish that's coming true when it comes to money. Okay. Any more about finances, please? Okay. Yeah. And then the three of coins is a pretty good money card. Okay. So your, your, your financial situation in the future will be very, very stable. I do see opportunities coming in for you to improve your money. Some of you are investing opportunities to invest and to have your money increase. Okay. I do see that or opportunities to um, like business ventures, I'm feeling, but money is pretty stable in terms of what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, in the future, your, your, the, the four of coins was an energy that we got before, I think for finances. So I think it's connected to your work as well. And I, I think I said before, your money is pretty good. You're okay, but you just feel like you want to make more. Okay. And in the future, I do see that whatever you're doing, whether it's investing or saving, whatever it is you're doing, your money is going to grow, okay? And you're going to be very, very stable. You're going to have a solid foundation in terms of money. So that's that's what I'm seeing. And, and also, I'm feeling like you're buying something. I don't know what that is that you're buying, but you're paying a lot of money for something. Three of Coins is, a, is usually a home, you know? Uh, maybe you're fixing up a home or building a home or making repairs around your home, but you're paying for something related to that home. I just got to Really weird feeling in my throat. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I could be buying a home too. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing for finances. Let's see if Spirit has any um, any advice for you when it comes to your finances. Let's take a look. Let's see. I am just trying to find like the deck I want to use for the message finance message. So I'm going to open up my notes from the universe and abundance and let's see what message spirit wants to give to you regarding your finances. Message for the collective spirit regarding their finances. This showed money changing for the better. I'm seeing. Let's see here. Okay, so this is the message, and I'm going to read it to you. Go way out. Think beyond your present dreams, the dreams you will dream, once these have already come true. And when you can clearly see how confident you will walk and how proud you will feel, start walking and feeling like that today. Far out the universe. Okay, so that is the 
notes from the universe on abundance. That's the message that spirit has for you regarding um, money. So this is talking about achieving your dreams and then going beyond your dreams. You don't like dreaming big, right? So once you achieve a goal, keep going, okay? Keep going. Yeah. Um, and things will turn out, I, I feel like. Start walking and feeling like that today. Things are going to turn out very well for you. And I feel like there's a lot of unexpected events that are also going to come up to change things in your favor in terms of money. Um, and for some of you, I want to say like you're winning something, okay? Money, something related to money, okay? But dreams will be coming true for you. I just feel like you just need to make a plan or move towards your dreams, move towards your goals. And it's like they'll keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And some of you want to be self-made, I'm feeling like, and that's going to happen for you, okay? All right. So let's look at your personal growth and well-being. And let's see if Spirit has any personal growth and well-being messages for you to help you. All right. So we're just going to focus on some self-care, spiritual growth, inner peace. See what comes out, right? <clears throat> what do you need to know to stay balanced and nurtured this month? Let's find out. What does the collective need to know to stay balanced and nurtured? <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got Butterfly Maiden. We've got bodies of water, okay? And Butterfly Maiden says you are experiencing enormous change um, right now, which brings great blessings. And Sula says, spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or ocean to recharge your batteries. And finally, Coventina purification. It's time for cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. Those feel pretty straightforward to me, okay? It feels like spirit is advising you for like self-care, spiritual growth, inner peace, to focus on um, things that will help transform you in a positive way. Some of you need to drink more water, okay? That's always the message that comes out. I mean, that's all of us. I think most of us don't drink enough water. So in order to purify your body, which Coventina is telling you, you need to make some changes, detox. Water is can help detox your body, right? Cleanse your body. So I do see that one thing that you guys need to make a change with drinking more water. Um, also, maybe spiritual baths, spending time in water can help bring in some inner peace for you. That might be one of those things that's very calming for you. Maybe when you go to sleep, listening to like rain sounds or ocean sounds or something like that can help relax you um, and calm you down um, overall is what I'm seeing there, okay? And purifying, it's, it, it feels like uh, some of your chakras need work and need balancing. I'm seeing a lot of color there, right? There's rainbows over here, rainbows over here. So it feels like you need some balancing of certain chakras. Um, and that's also, the rainbow is also a symbol of just variety. Like maybe there's a lot of things that, um, or a lot of areas and there are many of you. So it's hard to really focus in on what area, but specifically I am seeing that you need some purification. Okay. And water would help you do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of you are feeling very tired, stressed out, um, beat up, and spirit is really advising you to take time to nurture yourself, to nurture your body, to make sure that you are at your best. And definitely, definitely that water thing will bring the biggest, I feel like the biggest transformation to you because there's like water in all of these, like, as I can see here. Okay. Yeah, it feels like you. some of you need to go to the beach. If you, if you find time to go, go to the beach. I feel like it'll change you, relax you. I think it'll make you feel more inspired. It'll, you'll feel like there's you're having more ideas. Um, it'll open your mind up more, okay? And I'm feeling like go to the beach and kind of, well, you don't wear shoes to the beach, so just stand in the sand and kind of just look at the water and just relax. And I feel like it'll help you um, so much to open up, okay? I feel like some of you are also maybe even spending money on purchasing things to help improve your body, to help clarify, to help purify your body, okay? Some of those could be like drinks or energy drinks or something. Not like caffeine energy drinks, but you like green drinks or something like that. Um, Spirit also wants you to see yourself how you are, right? You have this idea of yourself that may not be the most flattering, but Spirit wants you to hold up a mirror and look at yourself and see how lovely you are, right? And maybe repeat affirmations that um, 
will penetrate your subconscious till you believe and know that you are beautiful, okay? And no matter what anyone says, okay, what truly matters as long as your self-esteem is positive is how you see yourself, okay? Let's see if there are any more messages that I'm getting. Get another one. Yeah, some of you need to, some of you are going to be taking some kind of herbs or something this this month. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Any other messages that you have for the collective on personal growth and well-being, self-care, spiritual growth messages, inner peace, any other message? Parting gift, right? Quiet time. Take time, take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. So Spirit wants you to relax, okay? Um, it's in the stillness that you get to know yourself. It's in the stillness that you can commune with um, nature. It's in the stillness you can commune with the divine, your ancestors. So um, quiet time will definitely help you to relax and bring you more inner peace, okay? I'm also feeling like, yeah, you need to definitely block out any distractions that might be coming into your your um, your environment, your space. Make Make a sacred space for yourself. And use that time to just kind of um, bring yourself back to center, okay? I'm seeing that as well. Yeah. Help you go with the flow more. I am getting like water. Water water is so important. Okay, so also another message I'm getting with the flow has to do with menstruation. Okay, so something about your cycle may need some help. Um. It feels like maybe you're having trouble with your cycle and spirit saying there's you need to purify yourself somehow. There's something you're doing that's kind of toxic that's causing this to happen for you. Um, it's almost like you need to bring your body back into balance. That's how I was getting those chakra messages there. Something is all or off or out of alignment and it's causing you to have problems with your flow, like your menstrual cycle, okay, or something reproductive for you. That's what I'm seeing there, okay? So maybe clean up your diet a little bit, okay, and, and drink more water and it says your flow will become more more um like more normal i guess or normal yeah okay all right and finally let's get some uh advice from the universe special message from spirit and let's close out your reading okay all right and i feel like i'm gonna read from here the wisdom of the hidden realms that i have any advice from my collective to close out the reading spirit for my collective what do they need to know stay balanced and nurtured what do they need to know okay let's see yep so i guess that was the final message right the coup de gras um the resting tree so between quiet time and the resting tree spirit is saying you gotta be still you need to be patient and that's a message that a lot of people are getting um I guess that seems to be a theme, like wanting to achieve so much is what I've gotten overall from your reading. There's a lot that you want to achieve, a lot that you want to accomplish. Um, like, however, Spirit is saying you can achieve probably more if you are still. Okay, If you take some time to be in the stillness, if you are patient, okay? I feel like Spirit is saying you need to stop worrying, okay? Um Spirit is also saying that um, eventually things are going to work. You're going to build a foundation that you've been looking to build, okay? And you're not going to have to worry so much anymore. Um, I feel like there's a new beginning coming for you. I feel as if you are needing, Spirit wants you to take this time out because you need it to regenerate. You need it to get ideas. You need it to help you. It's almost like maybe you're pushing, 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 pushing for something, but you can't get the message that spirit is giving to you because your mind is too busy. You can't see the solution to your problem because your mind is too busy. You're too worried. So it's like in the stillness, you will know God or in the stillness, you'll know the divine in the stillness. You'll find your inner peace. So I'm feeling like that's the message for you is take some time out, rest, be patient, be still, right? Like peace, be still. That's the final message from spirit. Okay. Some of you are like fire signs and you're just, you just go, 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 like a raging fire, right? <laughs> and Spirit is saying, please put out that fire. 
let it smolder for a little bit, okay? A little raging, All right? So that's what I'm seeing, okay? Um, and that's the reading I have for you today, my fabulous collective. So, of course, if you enjoy the reading, please be sure to let me know how it resonates with you in the comment section. And I just want to thank you for joining me. Um, your support and energy are what makes this community truly special. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more magical content. And if you're interested in the personal reading or exploring some enchanting, enchanting items from my Etsy shop, all the links and details are in the description box below. Your support allows me to continue sharing my passion with the world, and I am deeply grateful for each and every one of you. And I cannot wait to connect with you again in the next video. Until then, I wish you nothing but the best. So stay magical, collective, stay blessed, and keep shining bright. Toodles!